What's up, YouTube? Cloud421 here. Welcome back to a part of the Japanese campaign for Hearts of Iron 4. In the last part, we invaded Australia, and here's our current research. I'm just taking a quick look at Europe here. Yes, they pushed towards Marseille and Lyon, but they're holding along the river here and in the mountains, so... This has been a disaster for Germany. Germany usually overwhelms them now. If they didn't get Spain to join, that will be a different story. But, oh my goodness, I wish I honestly not joined the extra sent my own thing. Now, I didn't think Germany would fall this. That's kind of pathetic, Germany. And you know what? I'm pretty sure they're going to declare war on the Soviet Union at some point here also. So, I don't know what I can do to help. I'm helping them in Africa. They have all their units down here. So hopefully if I if I can help them take over Africa, that might, might be. But if I, if I send my troops up here, look at the supply line. They're way over supply here. And it's fighting in the Alps. There's tons of divisions. I need to somehow stage my own. Um, something, of, something of my own here. Maybe I could actually... You know, if I have... If they give me, like, uh, Tunisia, maybe? That might... Okay, they gave me Tunisia, right? So I could... I could use this to stage some naval wages in southern France to try to help them out. But I'm dealing with the Australians right now. Which is going quite well, I'd like to add. Well, they have some troops here, but we've cut off a decent number. Including these two guys right here. So, Australia... It's pretty favorable right there. Now, this commander, however, has all these marines. Oh, 21 marines? You know what I did? There you go. What I did was I assigned these guys... Uh, to the front line here without making, my, without making a new one. So that's why that gave that guy all those things. Okay. And this guy's troops in position and we can push toward the coast. You know, these guys' organization are just dropping. Oh, Italy, I don't trust me. You need your troops over there more than I need your troops. So these marines can go. We need to sell China Sea. Okay, so we don't need main battle fleet too. We don't need you guys patrolling here. There you go. So now these guys can definitely go, which they're doing now. So I'm probably be fighting in Europe here, which will be okay. I have I have a bunch of troops right here. I'm kind of scared I might need these guys against the U.S. But I have 39 divisions right here, so... I'm gonna bring them down here. So basically, this is gonna come down here and I'm gonna try to help out in, in uh, Europe because it's, you know, if we get the French to collapse, that would, that would help me too. Speaking of, yeah, we're all right, your tanks are pushing in. And uh run over the British here. Wow, is that more than my front line? This looks like Siam's forces here. Interesting. Okay, back to Australia. Now our our battle plan with no unit. Oh, you idiots declared war on Yugoslavia. Yeah, I should have definitely done my own faction. You guys told me. Not that I didn't listen, but I thought I'd be okay. I thought, the, you know, the Germans have been very powerful. They usually win. So. Now, why are we losing here? No organization. Well, stop attacking. And yeah, we'll just let these divisions push up. Or straight down the coast. Okay. I'm an idiot. We're right here. Grab the port as quick as you can. Okay, guys. I don't need to suffer attrition. I really hope this port isn't defended. The sooner you capture this stuff, the better, usually. Yeah, see, so we have no base supplies there. 
So we'll now take over this island chain here. And the Netherlands still has these little things. So I have to invade there also. Oh, this is going to be like island hopping all over again. At least the Philippines are connected by these little... They're not real, not in real life, but they're in these little land bridge kind of things. How many days will it take you to get there? Okay, we have supplies, everyone. Nobody panic. Okay, we'll have these guys curve around. Yeah, he can curve there. Good. So, Australian convoys. How are we doing down here, though, in Australia? Hey, guys, I'm just going to tell you to just... What the... Why are you going to go... Yeah. Okay, I just care about the light blue army here. Oh, they're actually... Gaining a little bit of ground here. I'm just going to hold and let our... Oh, Spanish troops are down here. Ah, Colombian volunteers and others. So it looks like the front changes and these guys literally... Like the second we take some territory, knock that arrow. Like This is not the way you want to go, but if they, if they feel like it, that's okay with me, I guess. I'm going to keep manually moving these marines down here. Okay, once these guys capture this territory, it looks like they're all five divisions right there. Yeah, some of these small things they need to fix. Like, if there's no one there, five divisions should not be on it. Doesn't even make any sense. I guess it, the AI was going to try to surround. Yeah, well, we're just going to take this territory. And... Is everyone here? Good. I just get the battle plan. I'm not too worried. We have enough troops, so we should be able to break through the Australian defenders down here. Problem is, we're fighting in the outback where there is no supplies out here. It's like two supplies. In the north, at least. So I think Australia will surround once you take Sydney and uh, Canberra. Oh yeah, we've made a lot of progress in Africa here. And if I can just fix this for them, that would be... Oh, how are we doing though? Oh, look, Germany's screwed. Look, they're pushing in. They're still, they're in the north, quite strong, and they're pushing all the things the Germans have gained and are being pushed back. Where's this army here? It's probably going to take them a while to sail there. Hello, naval invasion. I'm being navally invaded over here? Interesting. Well, it's not necessarily my territory. Yeah, Germany, you gotta go protect the homeland, dude. I, I got this stuff down here. Trust me. You know, it's funny, because usually Japan is like the weak nation in this game. Weakest Axis nation to play as. And the Germany is just like... Being ridiculous. Yeah, maybe I should have navally invaded along here. But I didn't I need to control all those sea zones, right? How many troops Australia even have? 17 and 19. Okay, that's that matches the divisions I have here. I wonder if we just capture this port here. Okay, invasion group. I think we're gonna need to redraw all these lines. Okay, we have the light blue and the magenta. Okay. Your battle plans are here. So we'll re reprogram you guys there. We'll reassign them. Man, if I had some motorizers, it would be so nice. Okay, our national folks is done. Air base expansion, always welcome. We're only just producing 
we've caught up on light tanks and everything, so we're just working on mass producing these medium two tanks. We're making six a day almost, and then that's we're only at sixty percent efficiency too. Okay, just go march and take all their troops are over here, might as well take their capital. I really think that I mean for the naval invasion, obviously it was worth it to um Really no supply here. I think for the naval invasion it was really worth just being able to land with the Marines, but once we're in the kind of open country here, the uh, the tanks would have done quite well. So it looks like our tanks have actually pretty much made it down to where I wanted them to go. Taking a large uh, amount of territory here. So on top of not being able to hold their own fronts, they've now declared war on Yugoslavia. Is my army here yet? I know I sent them. These are orange. Did I not? I didn't send them. They're not. They're just hanging out here. Okay, I need to bring them to the port and then send them. Okay, good. So now we know they're they're not here. And these are all Australian troops, so... No, look at this, no organization whatsoever. The low supplies are killing us out here. Because we can beat these guys when we actually have supplies. That's all you know, what was this group? The, uh, the 72nd, not even try to pronounce that. The 72nd group here of the Marines can actually win this war for us. So we're right outside the Australian capital here, but they do have a unit moving over. I don't know why. Let's just cancel your official orders, guys. Like, just go make a... Oh, we're soaking up to the port. That's good. Two days and we get their capital, then Sydney. That's the big that's the big goal of this episode. And also get these guys to go reinforce Europe. Who would have thought? <laughs> I definitely thought the Germans could hold their own. So we're crossing a river, it's night time. More free dockyards. Okay, there's New Castle. Okay, so look at these tanks here. Basically Sydney has fallen. Atomic research is done. Can't start the next one. We'll start working on this. Close enough to 1940. Oh, they have troops here. Okay, Australia's pretty close to running, so I'm just going to go take this territory down here. Come on, Marines. I want these guys to actually execute these battle orders here. Maybe we can cut off one of these units. And why is this? They have a ton of defense. Oh, I think we need to actually defend this because they're they have other units over here. You know, no one ever said fighting in Australia was going to be easy. It has very low infrastructure. In the game, obviously, not in real life. Well, I, I do think, I was looking on a map of Australia the other day, and there's like a there's a highway down the southern coast here, and like the northern coast, but there's nothing in the middle. There. Okay, what are we doing here? Have we just stopped moving? Okay, I'll draw the battle line again. I'll select all. And you can attack again. Keep moving, guys. Like, we actually have to take this. Okay, this guy's army is all here now. And I want him to sail here. Because, oh god, there's even... Yeah, Germany, I think, is going to lose this if I don't sweep in here and just take over a port or something. Maybe we can build a port here. I could probably
probably that's a large province there. Maybe I don't know where I'm needed. You know what? Probably in the north they need me more. Then again, I could just invade Yugoslavia and take this threat out of there. Okay, where am I currently? I'm currently boosting France, Brazil, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. Okay, I want to redraw our line here. I want us to push like there. Oh, that's that's ugly. And go in in position. Hey, let's go back. I know we're spending like the whole time on Australia here, but it's actually really important. I have these Marines help. It's a good thing I held this. Well, we are in circle technically, so. Oh, this is going to be great. We'll take over the coast here. Which won't do a whole lot, but we'll at least take over that. Cut off whatever units are there. Come on, guys. Don't just stand here. This is the Netherlands capital, actually. Their new capital. Okay, so we literally hold both the capitals. Where's their new... How many cities do you guys have? Yeah, I bet I can actually push these guys back. I'm gonna grab Sydney. Sydney should make them surrender. Yeah, this is kind of... Hasn't been a disaster up here. It's been a lot slower than I thought it would be. Definitely taking casualties. I'm gonna have to change my conscription loss here shortly anyway, too. They added a second unit here. I'm going to stop because we're out of supplies. So they can... Multiple combats. Good. I'm going to stop here. Yeah, they're, they're deploying. Okay, I have 10 Marines. Okay, I'll just have them start moving. Okay, I have an air base here. I should probably just... Do I have any close air? I do. Okay, whatever close air is here, I'm going to start deploying. Okay, let's go for the the carrier focus. That'll help me with aircraft carriers, obviously. Okay, and these planes are here, and I want them to do close air support. So we're actually losing both of these. They're deploying a lot of units here. I'm going to cut off units then if I can. I don't want them to take this capital back here. Or at least re... The big thing for us is we're surrounded here. Because we're in circle, technically. But we will we'll encircle some of their own guys. So we've improved anti-tank. We're now research industry equipment 3. This is slow. Now winning. If these guys can just recover a little bit. I will cut these guys off here also if I can. Oh, beautiful. Logistics 3. Nice. Okay, we're half off for 1942. Let's go for this tank. And this should cut off these units once I capture this position. Unread naval results. Oh, I lost a destroyer to the Dutch. The AI is incompetent at taking this. I don't know why the battle plan shifted so many times there. Austrian Industry 4 is also done. That's excellent. Let's work on 
So see, this will give us flexible, so we re we have better retention, and this one gives us extra efficiency growth. I think the efficiency growth is better, to be honest. But, yeah, we'll go with the growth. Because even if we have to retain it, that's not that big a deal. So now we have air superiority in the air. Well, that was kind of redundant sentence, wasn't it? We have air superiority. And these guys are now firmly supplied. Let's see if we can just cap. Maybe we can sneak into Sydney here. I know I have my 10 divisions. See, they're not tanks, so like they're not moving that fast. I just want these guys to surrender. How close are they? 77%. It controls 40% of victory points when it's 25% or less. I really invaded from the wrong coast here. So Newcastle's worth like nothing. Awesome. Goodbye, Australia. <laughs> Japan. All right, so that's all the uh, the Danish guys say it. Not the Danish, the Swedes. Okay. I want them to garrison right here. Well, no, actually. I want you... Make a fallback line along here. I'll just be able to move my units up. Okay, we have our eight divisions here. Let's try invading. How about the 25? Are they here yet? Good. They are getting their organization back up. There's a lot to manage as Japan here. Like, we have a lot of territory gotta capture. I'm working on the islands and Japan, you know, uh, Australia here. Another Commonwealth force taken out, though, is always a good thing that will help us in the future. This guy's magenta. You're gonna be in charge of a new operation, sir, and it is gonna be an invasion of. New Zealand. Now we're going to need a port. So I'm going to invade right here. And that should be much quicker, obviously. We have no supplies, obviously. Let's go grab this. And you guys can grab the airbase here. Just capturing British resources is always good. Okay, man. I think we need you badly in Germany. So let's just sail on over to Naples. And we're going to get rid of this threat here first. And then we're going to send you to Germany against all these troops. This is just really sad how pathetic the German Reich has been in this game. You have 400 divisions. And you cannot win against a couple guys. Speaking of, are we okay down here? Do we? Yeah, we're still moving, so it takes a little while. So it looks like we're cutting off um, Central Africa from West Africa here. They will not allow them to transfer forces back and forth unless they use ports. But Australia has fallen though, so that's that's a big development. Christmas Islands, the Cocoa Islands, interesting. This is going to be the next island chain I have to deal with after we take over the rest of this here. Hey, these guys probably should have been around for when Australia was still a country not conquered by Japan. Yeah, we need more people in there. Can I flip anybody? Not yet. France doesn't have a ton of fascism. I'm gonna boost in the US. Because I could possibly cause a war when I invade through Alaska. Okay, we have free military factories here. Oh, we don't want them in light vehicles, actually. Can I need to trade raid some for some resources here? 99 steel. I'm getting none from Germany. Cancel trade with them. Okay. Aluminum. 
Once again, not getting any from Germany because of the ports. I really hope I can make buddy buddy with the USSR right now because if they were to invade me, I would be screwed. And just because I can, I'm going to probably boost fascism in the USSR. I want to turn one of these countries. Okay, these guys are getting a position. Okay, I'm gonna have this guy start planning his next invasion, and she'll be here. So I'll take out whatever British little possessions are around here. I know I still have some more islands like these two right here, but I think it might be better once we take over these areas here to invade Madagascar and then get to South Africa. I mean, hell, we already have our tanks halfway down here. Okay. Oh. This is awesome. Night Assault Tactics. Okay, these guys are here. We're ready to do some damage. Oh, jeez. Hitley, don't you... Oh, no, they're gonna... Oh, I got... I did the mistake again. Where I, I told them to move, and then they weren't ready. Okay, group up. I'm gonna cut off this port here so they don't just hit went. Well, then now they have that port too. Oh, it is not a good day for the Axis. Berlin, Germany, if Germany capitulates, I'm so. I'm not screwed, but. We're gonna be in a lot of trouble. They're supposed to be the powerful. Powerful units, okay. Half of you go down here, the other half capture this port. You stay here, capture that. Jeez, we're fighting in Italy. The US is justifying us, we're gonna be at war with America. This is not good. <laughs> well, let's have a ton of factories here, and we're we're turning out all these tanks. We still, do we still have the interwar carrier fighter? We should probably research some better things. You know, free dockyards. I'm not sure how that will work. If they're actually free or not. I'm making a ton of convoys. Okay. So. We're now uh, have a bunch of Belgian troops down here. Uh, let's go look at Belgium here, because they were able, they really stopped the German advance. They have one division. These must be um, United Kingdom forces with the Belgian flag there, which means they must be volunteers. Okay, just attack across the river here. You don't have to attack into a mountain. So I want to capture these ports, and I'll kill a bunch of these units here. They just need some competent commanding in Europe here, I think. I'm actually going to send... Once these guys are done, I'm going to send them to Yugoslav. We need to collapse them. And yeah, they're sending even more troops over here, so... We'll deal with the... Uh, yeah, they're all coming from these ports here. Yeah, good. So Germany is shipping troops back home, which is probably smart considering Berlin is about to fall, I'm sure. Okay, guys, manual order here. Capture that. My tanks have done such a great job over here. Okay, tanks, speaking of, the extra four divisions here. Get to Nagasaki. I have more Marines. I'm going to deploy them on Iwo Jima. And my tanks. I want them to, to come all the way over to Europe here. Yeah, look at that. No organization. They're gonna wipe they're gonna lose all their troops here on the peninsula. Have fun attacking me. So everyone's cut off from supplies now. We capture those ports. I don't think I don't know if Germany can necessarily hold the line here. 
But hey, whatever troops they... Whatever I can do to help them in Africa to help them basically uh, not have to... Oh, what is this? There's a fleet here. Whatever I need to help them in Africa to get their troops actually back up north is a win. To go help defend them. Because they're, they're pretty spread out right now. Okay, next we're going to attack over here. And I'm honestly... I don't think the British will have enough rubber to be making a ton of planes. Never mind, they have 7,000 to 11,000 planes. Oh my goodness. Wait, how'd you regain all your organization? Oh no, they're going for the port. And they got the port. Son of a gun. Quick, get that port. Okay, walk around and that way. And you're, when you're attacking across a river and a port, it's just devastating. A, a river and a mountain. Okay, might as well... I'm definitely not doing no other expansion. Yugoslavia's capitulated. That is indeed great news because... You guys can send your troops. Please defend Berlin, guys. We're, Berlin is under fire right now. Literally under fire. Like, it is getting shelled. I'm just going to delete these orders here, and I want you to definitely focus on this area here. I, I don't really care if they move and take back some of this territory. I just want to clean up this area first. So I said our Marines are good here. They'll invade. How about down here? Are we ready? We are ready. Guys, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. I'll see you guys in the next part where we continue our invasions all around and continue to try to hopefully assist these guys from not getting destroy the Italians here. Yeah, these guys are taking attrition. I don't mind. You know, every division I can kill here is just it's great news. It'll be less guys have to fight in Northern Europe. So we'll just capture that port. So the port is once again captured. And these guys are in trouble. See you in the next part.